Hi, welcome to Python for Junior Secondary School Lesson 6. I'm Mr. Eric Tag. In this lesson, you will learn how to make use of what we have learned in the previous lessons to write a complete program in Python. Before we start, let's have a quick revision of what a program is. A program in a computer is just a sequence of instructions executed in a predefined order, just like this. Usually, the instructions will be executed one by one from top to bottom, but sometimes the program will jump to another step. Now, let's open the Python IDLE. This time, we don't type in a single instruction and press Enter to execute it immediately. But we want to type in the whole program and then execute the whole program line by line by the computer. This is the way we do. Here we go. Now we choose File, New File. To open an editor, and you will see there is a new editing window for us to type in the whole program. OK, let's type our Python program together now. A pound sign and then free xxx where the x represent your class and class number and then underscore note 01 underscore prog01 dot py enter this is something new the words after the pound sign in python are called comments and the computers will ignore them it's just for your own reference. Therefore, you can type in anything after the pound sign. You need to write your own comments in a program because sometimes you might forget what you have, you what you want to do at that point after you have written a thousand of lines. This is always a good practice to write comments in a program to drop down some important notes yourself. Then another command here, a pound sign. This is my first program. Enter. Then create some variables here. Math underscore mark equal 60. Enter. CHI underscore mark equal 70. Enter. ENG underscore mark equal 90. Enter. OK, you've just created three variables to store the mass of different subjects. Then you can do some operation on them. This is a simple program to output the every mass of three subjects. Let's type in print bracket double quotation average mark is colon double quotations comma bracket mark underscore mass math underscore underscore mark plus chi underscore mark plus eng underscore mark bracket divide free close bracket you can see here this print statement will print out two things on the screen the first one is the test string every match is as we have mentioned in lessons four everything be strings double quotation marks here are test. Here in the print statement, there is a comma. It means after there is another things to output. This time, it is the result of the values of the variables math mass plus Chinese mass plus English mass and then divided by three. OK, we have just finished written the program and we want to save it in a test file. You can now press file here, save as. OK, you type in a file name. You will type in free xxx where xxx is your class and class number underscore not 01 underscore prog01. Select a folder to save. I choose here and press save. It's done. Let's run the program by choosing run here and then run module. It works. Okay, now I close the editor. 
Suppose next time you want to open this program for editing again, you can in idle choose file, file open, okay, and select the file again here, here, it's done. Okay, that's enough for today. Please finish the question in the Go Formative system. If you like this video, please give me a like. Goodbye.